Big carcass encasing. Oh, oh, look at that. Just hanging on in there still, isn't it? How can he possibly drive this car with the tyre in that condition? Even if you're on the road and a policeman saw that, he'd pull you over, and quite rightly too. This is incredible. The man is driving at an average speed of 128 miles an hour around a racetrack with a tyre that has no place on a racetrack. The lead down to 2.7 seconds now, and uh, they're coming up to lap Montoya in the sister cars in P80. He is in a point-scoring position now. And uh, now we get a good shot. Look at that, it's just moving around almost on the rim, the tyre there. So that's the big flat spot we saw him put on it uh, when he was trying to lap Jacques Villeneuve. And it's somehow hanging on. It can't last. It cannot last. Surely it cannot last. If he was to pit now, which would be the non-adventurous thing to do, I suppose, he would probably be able to come out just behind Heidfeld. He'd still be on the podium, uh, but it'd be... I mean, is this unsafe? No, no, you just got to keep going. Uh, if, it, uh, you, if you hit the wall, you hit the wall. It, it's, there's no chance to stop now. I'm just trying to look at the sectors, and uh, he lost four tenths in the first sector. He's a second down again on Alonso. Alonso's taken a second out of his lead, and now look how much closer he is. And Alonso, with the full braking ability of that Renault, we are going to see a showdown in the final few laps. For the second time this week at a major sports event, I'm shaking. I was in the stadium in Istanbul, I was shaking for the whole of the second half, and I'm shaking again now, because this is the most fantastic finish to a Formula One race. Raikkonen is under real pressure. There it goes, the tyre, let's go. He just misses the VAR, and I said he should have pitted. I told you he would have got a podium if he pitted, instead of which he's going to get absolutely nothing. Ron Dennis can't believe it. The racer in Raikkonen wanted the victory. He wanted to stay out there. The common sense man said, bring him in. They didn't do it. Alonso's going to take another 10 points out of him in the World Championship. And there's a smile underneath that Spanish crash helmet because Alonso is going to win the European Grand Prix, having not had a sniff of it for the whole race. And when it went, it went big, didn't it? Took the suspension with it. But they, they need to pull these points back on uh, Alonso. They had to take that the races gamble they had to do it and that's very reminiscent of when uh, Mika Hakkinen had uh, a failure a similar failure just about took Jensen Button out of the race but missed him Button moves up to P10 will start up to P4 then and uh, well I don't know analysis will say yes you should have changed it of course you should have changed it it would have been six points versus no points Maybe that's just, I'm not a racer and you are, but last lap you don't come in for pits, but that looked dangerous to me, and, uh, well, there we go, it's off. Yeah, the tether's doing a good job to keep it from bouncing across Raikkonen's head, so Alonso leads comfortably then from Heidfeld, Barrichello.